Welcome to this tutorial on using ROS2 with MATLAB and Simulink. Here's the learning path we'll be following throughout this tutorial. In this session, we will focus on how to log and visualize ROS2 data. Let's take a closer look at the outline for today's session. We'll begin with an overview of different approaches to logging and visualizing ROS2 data. Next, we'll then introduce the ROS Data Analyzer app in MATLAB. Finally, we'll demonstrate how to log and visualize ROS2 data using both MATLAB and Simulink. Imagine a ROS2 network running in a simulation environment or on hardware, where the message data in ROS2 topics can be accessed. We can visualize the live data using the ROS Data Analyzer app. Alternatively, we can access and visualize the data offline by storing the message data in log files, known as ROS bag files or ROS bags. MATLAB supports .db3 and .mcap storage formats for these files. The ROS Data Analyzer app allows you to filter and visualize messages from the bag files. Additionally, you can filter and visualize messages in both MATLAB and Simulink. We will explore these topics in more detail in the next session. Next, we will move on to the ROS Data Analyzer app. Let's begin with live data visualization for the Turtle Sim using the ROS Data Analyzer app. First, open the app from MATLAB. Select Live Network Data for ROS2 and enter the domain ID, which is zero by default. The app will detect and list the available ROS2 topics on the network in the left panel. Select the type of visualization at the top. For instance, choose the XY plot. We can then select the message data to visualize. In this example, select the pose of the turtle in X and Y coordinates. We start the visualization. As the turtle moves in the Ubuntu Virtual Machine, the ROS Data Analyzer app display its path in real time on the plot accordingly. Next, let's explore how to visualize ROS2 bag files using the ROS Data Analyzer app. First, launch the Turtle Sim in the Ubuntu Virtual Machine. Create a folder named bag file and start logging the desired topic. In the example, we only log the turtle sim pose topic. In MATLAB, Open the ROS Data Analyzer app and load the bag file. Similar to the previous example, we visualize the turtle sim pose by using the XY plot. We can also configure the layout, such as 2x2 two two grid, to visualize multiple messages simultaneously. We can play back the entire recording, with options to play, pause, and adjust the playback speed.
Back in the Ubuntu virtual machine, this time we log all the available messages and specify the name of the bag file. Similarly, we open the ROS Data Analyzer app and attempt to open the new bag file. An error occurs, indicating that the turtle sim color message type is unrecognized. We need to define this message type message before opening the bag file. To define the message type, we're going to create a .msg file to define the color message type. Under the custom folder, then the turtle sim folder, and finally the msg folder. We can find the detailed definition by using the ROS2 interface show command in Ubuntu. In a MATLAB script, create and edit a color.msg file, copy and paste the data definition, and save the file. Now we are ready to compile and generate the custom message packages. Return to the ROS Data Analyzer app, and now we should be able to successfully open the ROS bag file and visualize the messages. Next, we will proceed to playing back the ROS2 bag in MATLAB. We will demonstrate how to play back the bag file we logged in the previous example using MATLAB. First, create a ROS2 bag reader object by specifying the path and name of the bag file. Explore the properties of the ROS2 bag reader object, such as the available topics. We can retrieve the meta information of the ROS2 bag reader object. Use the read messages function to read all messages from the bag file and display their values. We select a subset of messages by specifying the topic name. We convert the messages to a timetable in MATLAB to display the details, where timetable is a type of table that associates a time with each row, which is useful for time series data. In ROS2, each message includes a ROS2 timestamp. Next, we will transition to Simulink to demonstrate how to playback and log the ROS2 bag. Let's demonstrate how to play back the bag file we logged in the previous example using Simulink. 
First, add a ROS2 bag read data block and specify the path and the name of the bag file. Select the topic from which we want to play back the messages. Add a bus selector block to the model and configure to extract X and Y components from the message definition. Running the Simulink model, we observe the X and Y values in the figure during runtime, which should reflect the data from the ROS2 bag file. Next, let's demonstrate how to log ROS2 messages into a bag file using Simulink and the Turtle Sim. In the Simulink model, we add two ROS2 subscriber blocks, one for subscribing the Turtle's pose topic and another for subscribing the Turtle's command velocity topic. Go to the Simulation tab and open the ROS Logger. Enable logging for the topics we want to record into a bag file. Start the Simulink model. While the model is running, move the turtle in the Ubuntu Virtual Machine. After stopping Simulink model, the bag file, along with its metadata file, will be created in a specified folder. We will then open the ROS Data Analyzer app in MATLAB, load the newly created bag file, and visualize the logged data. I hope you now have a clear understanding of how to log and visualize ROS2 data using the ROS Data Analyzer app, MATLAB, and Simulink. Thank you for participating in this session. In the next session, we will explore ROS2 time and synchronization between nodes. By the end of this session, you will have gained a thorough understanding of ROS2 time and various approaches to synchronizing ROS2 nodes. I look forward to continuing our journey in the next session.